so the next step is, all right, let's take a look. This is eight. Oh, prop, prop saver. Did I do that? Attach the prop saver to the motor. Oh, I, sorry. I jumped ahead. I, I mounted the whole thing. Um, it was actually just to mount the prop saver. I went ahead and put the whole prop on. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we have this little assembly done, and uh, we're going to now uh, connect the motor to the speed controller. Um, so the speed controller is here, and here is my knife. There it is. And now we have to do some soldering. Okay, so this guy is not ready to connect to anything yet. And so what we'll be doing is um, attaching the motor leads um, on here, the motor uh, bullet connectors to here, and we will be also doing the uh, bullet connectors for connecting to the battery. All right, so it's off to the soldering station. Let's fire this guy, bad boy up and collect our parts. I like having helping hands. It's an extremely useful thing to have around. Um, the, uh, the other thing that's extremely useful to have is a high quality soldering iron, as I said before. This is what happens to my solder. Never let kids around your uh, <laughs> spool of solder. So that's what I've been using for a while. I'm trying to use up all the stuff they pulled off. Anyway, it's fine. All right, so this solder, um, these have already been tinned, and um, I'm just going to go with the tinning that they've got. Um, if you're paranoid, you could strip them and retin them, but I think it'll work well enough. Um, just make sure that iron's good and hot. So the way we tin um, the uh, connectors to the um, from the speed controller to the motor is uh, notice that there's a little little. Let's see if you can, see if you can focus on that. There's a little hole here that I'm holding right now. I'm going to stick the, the the end of the soldering iron in there and just fill this thing with so a pool of solder and just dunk um, the already tinned end in there. All right, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I like the setup, so I'm going to put the little holes off to the right, which is where my hand where my hand's going to be. I'll set up two of these at a time since I have two of these. Um, uh, yikes. Come on. Um, uh, two of these ready to go. We'll save a little bit of time. Make them look pretty solid. Okay, pick up soldering iron, clean it up. It's a nice, I've noticed it's a nice fine tip that helps get the dunk it in right. And uh, you might want to wear safety glasses when you do this because uh, there is uh, people that are, do a lot of soldering said so they flick solder into their eye. And that sounds really painful. So definitely consider the safety glasses for this. Okay, it's really hard for me to see because I am. Oh, come on. There's Mr. Hall. There it is. Okay, so we're going to take the three sides. You know, this is where there's three leads, and then we're just going to dunk one of them in. And we're going to hold that in there for a while, so I'm convinced that's all nice and melted. Yeah, that's getting feeling really hot on my finger. So I'm gonna ouch, 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 ouch. This means you're doing it right. Ow, ow. And be patient because it, it does stay hot for a while. Okay. Okay, good. That's good. Watch that, you will burn yourself if you're not careful. Okay, we'll do the next one. Is that a little hole? Sorry. There I am. Filling it. Trying to do too many things with one. I need a prehensile ear or something to help me with this. Your tail would be good. That would be great if you had a third thing, like a tail, to help you with all this stuff. Alright, there we go. And I'm just going to hold it there and still keeping it all in there until it starts feeling a little warm. Take it away. Still hold it. Burning your fingers. You're doing it right. I mean, not really burning. Okay. Okay. That one's done. 
Okay, looks nice. So, and we got one more to do. Put this on this one over here. It's presumably cooled off. And I like working with really fine solder. It just kind of goes faster. Uh, you know, it just there's less. Yeah. Dunk it in there. And wait. Okay. So it's really nice with these speed controls because, ooh, all right, now. All right, so we have made up the uh, speed controller um, for the connections to the um, between the speed controller and the motor. Now we're going to do the uh, battery connections. Okay, so this is an important um, bit uh, where it's really worth paying attention to, to the details here. Um, you do not want to uh, connect these um, in reverse, which would be uh, this. Um, you will fry the battery and the speed controller and maybe even take out the receiver. Um, so this is the one place where you need to make sure that red goes to red, black goes to black. And what I do, um, because I'm dyslexic, is I try to be very conservative about this. So I look at this and I see that, okay, that's actually a male connector in there. Pick up my female connector that's going to fit on that, and I can even just put it on there a little bit. I'm not going to get shocked if I just work on one side at a time. Okay, and then um, you do not want to short these, these uh, cables either because that will ruin the battery also and maybe even start a fire. Okay, so uh, that fits there. Good, I know that's right. And then there's, a, there's this uh, polar, there's a polarity um, shearing connector, which says that the has a skinny bit and a fat bit. The skinny bit's going to go in the fat bit here, so that's going to be my positive here. Um, the way this thing goes together is you have to put the sleeve on, or the, the connector, um, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but the sleeve for the connectors, which do the polarity um, protection um, on, the, on first, then let's double check that this looks right. Red's going to red. That's the right size. And we know we want the female. Once again, we're going to check it. The female goes over the male, which is red. Red. Good. I'm happy. All right. The hole on this one is a lot smaller, so unless you have a really tiny soldering iron, this is a little hard. To, you're going to have to use a slightly different technique. It's going to be the same dunk technique, but we're going to um, do it a little bit differently. Okay. Um, the other thing that um, I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hold... Um, this in a little more carefully because uh, when you dunk sometimes the solder wants to come flying out and that will mess up the outside of this thing and I am want to be careful of that so let's see how I'm going to do this uh, first thing I'm going to do is get that full of solder and where is Mr. Hole? Mr. Hole is right there so I'm going to want to have that soldering iron there when I dunk to keep it from flowing out this time what I'm going to do is instead um, I'm going to dunk this in here and just fill it. Like that. The tip of that soldering iron is probably about as big as the, as the wire that's going to go in there. It's easier to solder when you're sitting, usually. Okay, so I've got a nice pool of solder in there, as you can see. And now I'm going to hit that little thing on the side. Try to keep it from flowing out when I dunk it. Where is it? Right there. Okay. Okay. And this is going to be positive going in there. Sorry. This is... Okay. It's so positive. It's going to go in there. Dunk it in. And that seems nice and melted and good. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay, out it goes. Fingers are hot. It's a good sign. All right, Do we got a good connection or not? I don't know. You can't really see it. So this is a bigger hunk of metal, so it's going to take more energy to get that solder flowing, and it's going to stay molten for longer. Um, and that connector, that's believable. Okay. Yep, I can pull on it. Seems like it's fine. All right, so that's going to slide in there, and now we're going to do the male connector for ground. Same story. I'm going to orient my little hole same way. My glasses back on. Oh, 
Okay. So a lot of working with you know different connectors and stuff is you, you sort of have to figure out how they want you to put it together. And this was a new connector for me. Um, so I had to read and react and just sort of think about it a little bit and be creative. Okay, a little more maybe. Don't be re afraid to redo things. I think it needs it. Okay, that's got plenty of solder in it. Now we've got a little side stick here, which is over here. Ah, oh, come on. All right. Sorry, right. I'm not. You're not going to see this because I've got my legs bent. But I'm dunking it now into the pool of solder, oh, and that went out, unfortunately. Dang it. All right. So I'm just going to let that solidify. Okay, ouch, it's still quite hot. Okay, so um, we've got them soldered up, and uh, there's little blobs of solder on the outside um, that just kind of get there, and I'm going to try to see if I can get this connector and sort of accept it and seat them by just warming it up with the heat gun a little bit. It'll just be a little softer or plastic, and maybe it will conform. Go. Pull pretty hard. There we go. Got one. Got the other. Okay, so that's the trick. Is this plastic is a little too rigid and needs to get warm. Uh, don't burn it, obviously, and just pull it through. Um, and heat it up with a heat gun or a lighter or something, but don't catch it on fire. You know, it wasn't super warm, it just needed to soften that plastic. All right, excellent. On to our next step. Um, we can now turn off soldering station um, and we need to finish up this speed control by um, we're going to do the heat shrink tubing over the bullet connectors the female bullet connectors we just added so they're insulated from each other um, we don't want them shorting out I mean, a little hard to push on but it's useful to have a little something to push um, on the back and just get them flush okay up at the top and uh, these won't take much to shrink around these really well. I use a heat gun. You can use a lighter. Uh, you can use a soldering iron. I'll do one with the heat gun. Like that. Shrink up nice and tight around it. Do a soldering iron. I'll do the other one. There's another one with the heat gun. Do the same thing with a lighter. Just be careful. Don't catch anything on fire. Just keep it moving. You just want to see that stuff shrink. And you can also use soldering iron to do it, which is here. Just kind of roll it, sorry. Just roll it it's real fast because it will burn that plastic just to kind of get it going. It doesn't do quite as good a job, but it's adequate. This is how I used to do it back in the day. Also makes a lot of smell. Okay. So that's it. We have a made up speed controller that's ready to be connected to things.